With level five autonomy seeming more plausible every day, some car companies have already shown off living room-like pod concepts at auto shows. I headed to Ingolstadt, Germany to get an exclusive peek at how luxury automaker Audi is approaching this possible self-driving future. Naturally, Audi's long distance lounge concept presupposes in-wheel motors, EV power, and no steering wheel, freeing up what feels like a gigantic amount of space in the same footprint as an A8L sedan. There's a lounger, a deployable table for work, and a refrigerator for snacks. Being a far thinking design, a number of G-Wiz features are integrated, including infinitely movable magnetically mounted chairs and a wooden floor that ultrasonically vibrates loose dirt to the periphery where a built-in vacuum can suck it up. The most interesting feature, though, was when Audi's interior chief, Enzo Rothfuss, showed me a functional separate interior buck with windows that double as screens. They can let in views of the outside world, mirror content from your mobile device, act as a privacy blind, or inform about the world passing outside. TFT foils embedded in the glass make it possible to see directly outside, show digital overlays, or both. Audi envisions this vehicle learning occupants' preferences, tailoring the information it presents accordingly. Like boats, the lounge will point out passing catamarans and schooners and suggest links to learn more about them, all as you look through the window at the real thing outside. It knows both where you're seated and looking, thanks to a network of sensors and head tracking cameras. If you have the windows blacked out for sleeping occupants, you can even pinch and pull open a peephole to see what's outside. It's early days for this tech, but it works. Think Minority Report and you're right on track. Audi officials predict that our new autonomous augmented reality future will bombard us with information, resulting in what Audi head of trend communications, Melanie Goldman describes as cognitive overload. The company believes that a key part of providing a differentiated luxury experience will include having the vehicle function as an informational membrane, letting in only the things that matter to occupants and filtering out the noise of most advertisements and things they don't care about. Careful curation of stimuli, be it light, sound, or digital information, is all part of recovering what Rothfuss calls the 25th hour. That time of the day normally lost to hands on the wheel commuting. Turning time spent in the automobile into personally productive time, whether that means teleconferencing, napping, or learning about boats, is a key goal for Audi. Rothfuss and Goldman admit the long distance lounge is just one possible vision of a future automobile that will need to fit into a whole new ecosystem integrating both ride sharing and private ownership. It's just a concept, but it bristles with tech, thoughtfulness, and most importantly, promise.